Um, hey, what happened today? I mean, that's pretty unusual for you to get about uh, those bombs like that. What, what was going on? Oh, uh, I mean, they put some, put a couple of good swings on some balls, and then, um, I mean, in all honesty, a couple of those balls were a little wind dated. Um, but, you know, they had a good approach early. They jumped on me really quick, kind of first pitch swinging that first time through the order and got a couple balls out. Um, a couple of the pitches that I'm, you know, not mad about. I mean, the ball to Otani, that's it's a fly out 90% of the time. So, you know, you, you, just, you deal with it and, and continue to try to make the pitches. Um, but to be able to, you know, kind of struggle a little bit, but also still keep the pitch count down and get the amount of innings that we were trying to get in was uh, good. Yeah, the reason I ask, you know, I know it's getting a little bit late in spring, but uh, we know that pitchers often use Cactus League games to to try to hone a certain pitch or whatever. I was just curious if there was something that you were working on specifically <clears throat> that was a little off that they took advantage of. It. That doesn't sound like it was the case today. No, I mean, just kind of had a good approach, really. First pitch swinging on some fastballs, gotten some bad counts, and, you know, got the ball up there, and we're able to get it out of the park. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Tracy Ringlesby. Go ahead, Trace. Tracy? There we go. Austin, with Italy play, there's a good chance you could face the Angels, like during the summer. Do you think it helps you to see some of those guys today that you may haven't seen before and also to see their aggressiveness against you? Yeah, I mean, for sure. I mean, I think we um, we definitely – we do play them at some point this year. So, uh, don't have a lot of history with those guys over there. And, um, you know, uh, I just thought today really I, I was more of like see stuff. You know, I just wasn't too sharp. And to those guys' credit, man, they had a really good approach. And I made some – kind of threw the ball over the middle, played early, and they got the ball up in the air and, and got some balls out of there. But, uh, you know, like I said, we were able to keep the team in the game. Um, you know, we kind of hit some hit some homers too. So good thing to be able to keep the team in the game, good thing to be able to see those guys. Uh, you know, I definitely think it's a learning experience, and, I, and I'll be able to, you know, kind of sequence and have a better idea against these guys next time I see them. Well, we're well from St. Louis. Excuse me? Did you know Albert? Uh, no, I never met Albert. He was gone years before I was drafted. Uh, I played with Dexter, though. Um, so got a relationship with Dexter. And um, other than that, I don't really have any history with any of those guys. History with Dexter, too. <laughs> so, thank you. Yeah. Anything else for Austin? All right, I think that's oh, Patrick. One second, Patrick Saunders. Go ahead. Hey, thanks, Corey. Hey, Austin. One more quick. Um, I haven't had a chance to look yet. What was your pitch count today? Do you know, and uh, how close are you to being uh, ready in terms of pitch count for the regular season? Yeah, I think I was in the 80s. Um, I don't know exactly the the number, but I think uh, the plan was to get out there for six innings. Um, I don't think I actually hit the full count, but we got the six ups and then, um, you know, good situation to bring in a reliever there, kind of a game situation, come in with a guy on third. But, you know, I feel good um, physically. Uh, and that's really all that matters this time of year. So, um, you know, it was a good last tune-up. I think I'll get one more outing here, maybe a little bit shorter one, and then we'll be ready to go. Cool. Thanks, Ryan. Appreciate it. Thank you, Gabriel.